Good evening, London. That title got your attention, didn't it? Well, I wish it was clickbait, but it's not. Many of your favourite YouTubers could be about to disappear. And it's odd, because many of the same people who went ape shit over YouTube heroes aren't even talking about this. Basically, a bunch of corporations had a collective hissy fit because their ads were showing up on extremist videos. Verizon, Johnson & Johnson, these big companies, and they've just found out that their ads are being played before some pretty offensive content and they want it to stop. And to be fair, you can understand why they don't want to be seen as endorsing extremism. Because by extremism, we just mean ISIS. We mean jihadist propaganda. Beheading videos, right? Wrong. According to the media, extremist YouTubers include yours truly, John Tron, and PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Let us dwell for a second on how truly hysterical you must be to think that a guy who makes funny videos about playing computer games is a political extremist. <sighs> So the media is exploiting the contrived moral panic started by these corporations to pressure YouTube into silencing us all. So why do they want to censor me? Well, it's because... It's because I'm kicking their ass and they can't win the argument on a level playing field. So I tweeted, Twitter is a tiny echo chamber. I'm not sure the left understand the monumental ass whooping being dished out to them on YouTube. And it triggered a huge number of frothing leftists to angrily deny that it was true. Which is how I knew it was true. Even Vice was forced to admit, quote, Paul Joseph Watson is right in an article entitled Why the Right is Dominating YouTube. And it is true. Virtually every SJW or regressive left video on YouTube gets absolutely slaughtered in the comments and has overwhelming thumbs down. We're clearly winning the argument because most leftists are incredibly lazy and would rather virtue signal on Twitter than go through the laborious process of scripting, filming, and editing videos. Because their idea of debate consists of using minorities as human shields and calling you a racist. Which is not an argument, and not having an argument doesn't translate well to YouTube. So instead of challenging our ideas with better ideas, like it works in, oh, I don't know, a civil society, they're just going to censor us by labeling us extremists. Don't believe me? It's already happening. Polygon said my YouTube channel was part of a sexist and racist hate movement. In that Vice article I just mentioned, they say PewDiePie is, quote, far right, despite the fact that he doesn't even talk about politics. And that he's causing millions of kids to become anti-Semites because he jokes about shooting Hitler in the balls in a video game. And that's... Why Hitler never had any babies. Yes, really. In another Vice article, they say JonTron is making all the kids racist. New Statesman said my videos were racist in an article about who YouTube should censor. Along with all the fake news hysteria, they're clearly building the narrative that anyone who even hints at challenging leftist dogma on anything is an extremist and must be silenced. They're clearly conflating actual extremism, like ISIS beheading videos, with people who just have a different fucking opinion. And again, it's because we're crushing them. Their audience is shrinking. Their trustworthiness, especially amongst young people, is collapsing. So how will they silence us pesky YouTubers with our wrong think and inconvenient opinions? Well, let me introduce you to YouTube Restricted Mode. Here's my channel on Restricted Mode. Yeah, you'll notice every single one of my videos has disappeared. Here's CNN on Restricted Mode. Not a single one of their videos has been buried. Even though I talk about many of the same news issues as CNN. Same issues Wrong opinion. So it's bye-bye PJW. Here's Philip DeFranco's channel. Steven Crowder. Here's Alex Jones. Here's PewDiePie. Every single video is gone. Here's CNBC. Here's NBC. Again, they talk about many of the exact same issues as me, and yet none. Not a single one of their videos is buried. This is the sterile, controversy-free, advertiser-friendly environment that YouTube wants. There are, of course, those who do not want us to speak. So you know how YouTube slaps an age restriction on your videos and it forces people to have to sign into their accounts to watch them? That immediately kills the momentum for your video and stops it going viral. And that's what they'll do with this restricted mode. They'll force people to sign in and age verify to see every single upload from those of us that have been put on the naughty step. 
it's coming. Which of course will virtually kill all our channels and completely demotivate us from making more videos. This all makes sense given that YouTube is partnering up with major corporations to basically turn itself into a conventional TV channel. And telling the truth is just not advertiser friendly. We're not welcome anymore. Google must walk a fine line between giving advertisers more control and alienating the massive community of content creators who've made the site a top destination for coveted young viewers. From a censorship angle, it will also prevent millions of young people from being red-pilled on important political subjects. Because they just won't be able to see our videos organically. And that makes sense because Generation Z is already leaning more conservative and the establishment is in a blind panic about it. Listen to what Google's Eric Schmidt said. Google can build products that move extreme content down in the rankings. Again, who's extreme? Well, it's me. It's Alex Jones. It's PewDiePie. We're all Nazis now. It should be possible for computers to detect malicious, misleading and incorrect information and essentially have you not see it. We're not arguing for censorship, we're arguing just take it off the page. Oh, we're not gonna censor you, we're just gonna make sure that nobody can see your videos. Oh gee, thanks. And there's already speculation that YouTube is deliberately unsubscribing people from channels based on age if those channels are deemed edgy in any way. If this YouTube age gate really does exist. It would explain why Leafy is here, uh, a YouTuber who has extremely uh, edgy adult content, would be losing subscribers every single day because the majority of his fan base, I would assume, are, are younger. As I said, when I heard this, bells were ringing, I was shocked, but that wasn't it. There was more to the story. The YouTube employee went on to say that they're planning on implementing this across YouTube and that if you are not in the age group appropriate for that channel, you won't even be able to search it and find it anymore once they fully roll out the program. But YouTube's a private company. It can censor who it likes. Yeah, isn't it funny how leftists are suddenly so vehemently in favor of the right of private companies to discriminate against people? But only when that discrimination involves censoring conservatives. Refuse to bake a gay wedding cake and that fervent principle suddenly washes away. And forget conservatives. Any popular YouTuber with any influence whatsoever poses a threat to the media's monopoly on controlling public opinion. That's why YouTube tried to pay off people to support Hillary Clinton. <coughs> Casey Neistat. That's what frightens them. The mere threat of a thought crime being committed. Words will always retain their power. Words are for the means to meaning and for those who will listen, the enunciation of truth. So what's the solution? Oh, I don't know, maybe to remind YouTube that freedom of speech is a fundamental bedrock of everything that we stand for in a civilized society. Maybe to point out that it was people like PewDiePie and others who helped build YouTube and make it a global phenomenon in the first place. Maybe to make the point that if you move the Overton window to such a degree that a dude who is totally non-political and plays fuck video games becomes a far-right extremist, then that poses a direct threat to any opinions that diverge from the mainstream. That completely chills free speech and makes everyone afraid of saying anything, creating a boring, sterile society with zero diversity of thought. And where once you had the freedom to object, to think and speak as you saw fit, you now have sensors and systems of surveillance coercing your conformity and submitting your submission. We need cameras. How did this happen? Who's to blame? Enforced totalitarian compliance with whatever the thought police mob demands of you. Or maybe you just want to continue watching PewDiePie shoot Nazis in the balls. Ooh, I never get tired of that. Either way, the die is cast. From YouTube heroes to countering extremism. It's all a scam. It's all a scheme by the failing establishment media to silence its competition. And if we don't get mad about this, if we don't get engaged, it will succeed. Fairness, justice, and freedom are more than words. They are perspectives. Click the link below to subscribe to the channel.
And for more breaking news, go to Infowars.com. The making of the President 2016, how Donald Trump orchestrated a revolution. This is the untold story of how Trump defied all the odds to win the presidency. From former Trump confidant Roger Stone, the inside scoop of how Trump rocked the establishment. Get your signed copy of The Making of the President right now at InfoWarsStore.com.